right, just so you guys know, he's still fine. Just, uh, I used a uh, Benjamin Sheridan uh, pump action. Oh, there's old Mr. Woodpecker up there. Anyway, um, all right, so just so you guys know, uh, the squirrel's fine. Uh, just shot him with a Benjamin Sheridan .177 pellet gun. It's a pump action rifle. And uh, I only pumped it one time. I mean, it's barely enough air just to get the pellet out. It basically just spanked him on the butt a little bit. And if he continues to go up there, I will continue to keep spanking him. Uh, a couple things, a couple notes. First off, where I am here, I can't shoot my backyard. If I shoot even a .22, uh, the cops will be knocking on my door, which I don't want. The other thing is that that red house is not mine. That's the neighbor's house. So, uh, I mean, first off, they got lots of windows. So I'm not going to be going ahead and shooting anything towards their house or their windows. Uh, the pellet gun, even, even then, I had to kind of sneak outside and go all the way to the left so I can get an angle that was safe where if I did miss, I would, uh, you know, shoot into the woods. But anyway, you can see the squirrel. He's still fine for all you PETA people and animal lovers. Uh, I'm not looking to kill the thing. I just wanted to get off the bird feeder. So, anyway, that's it. Yeah, I can't use my 22 even if I wanted to. I mean, the pellet gun, a headshot would probably take him out, but I, I'm not really interested in that. I just don't want him eating my food. Now, he is scavenging. Uh-oh. He's on the bottom of the tree. You see, he's very hesitant now to go up. Now, I didn't do the hot sauce thing. Uh, it was actually a good idea. Some people said that uh, the birds aren't affected whatsoever by it, so I might eventually do that if this, uh, this doesn't work. But so far, I've been watching him, and probably the last, like, 15 minutes, he keeps going on the base of the tree, but he never goes back up. So I think there's a slight possibility that he learned his lesson. Although, there's another squirrel out there, so, I mean, he's not the only squirrel in town. I might have to just teach them all a lesson. Like this guy. Alright, keep your eyes peeled. He's going for it. I'm going to have to keep smacking him. I don't know. He's got a funny look in his eye. I think he's going to go for it. I'll be right back. All right, well, that was interesting. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but the squirrel was going to go for it, the other squirrel. And then the original one ran up the tree and, I don't know, had like a scuffle with him. Maybe he was telling him, don't do it. <laughs> it was funny. The first thing I was thinking of was uh, Forrest Gump. Anyone see Forrest Gump? Well, of course. It's a pretty classic movie. When he's in Vietnam and he gets shot in the butt, <laughs> he's explaining his story. He's like, I don't know what happened. Something jumped up and bit me. Bit me right in the buttox. But anyway, uh, I don't know. They're kind of, uh... <laughs> you like my really, really lame Forrest Gump impression? Jenny! <laughs> jumped up and bit me. Alright, that's enough of that. Uh, squirrels aren't doing anything now. I'll keep an eye on it. Let me zoom out a little bit here and show you the uh, pellet gun I'm using. I think I've showed it in the past, but just a Benjamin Sheridan pump action 
um, have a scope ring on it. Don't have a scope on it anymore, just using the iron sight. But that's pretty much it. Anyway. Alright guys, that's it. I'll keep you updated on the squirrel drama. But so far, maybe they learned the lesson. Maybe they didn't. We'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.